Okay, so I'm going to show a quick and simple way to draw and label the gram positive and gram negative cells that will be needed for most of microbiology. Okay, so this is the gram positive cell. First, I'd start off with the plasma membrane. Then I would draw the DNA with the ribosomes. and inclusion bodies. After that, I'll draw the cell wall. With the lipotectoic acids. and the tachyonic acids. With the periplasmic space in the end. Okay, so this is the gram negative cell. Again, I'm gonna start out with the plasma membrane. Then I'll draw the DNA ribosomes and the inclusion bodies. Here is the cell wall. and the gram-negative cells also have an outer membrane. This is the bronze lipoprotein. And then make sure you include the lipopolysaccharide, or LPS, and the periplasmic space again. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. As you can see, they both have plasma membranes and cell walls with DNA, ribosomes, and inclusion bodies within the plasma membrane. And one of the big differences is that the gram, pos or gram negative has an outer membrane with two periplasmic spaces, while the gram positive only has a small one periplasmic space. The gram negative has the bronze lipoprotein, while the gram positive has lipotectoic acid and tachyonic acid on the outside.